Welcome to Live the Faith. Today, I would like to talk to you about what is in the heart will come out. So I have a question for you today. What is in your heart? Happiness, love, fear, anger, mercy, lust, bad thoughts, contentment, or maybe revenge? I would like to talk to you about that. In Matthew chapter 15, verses 18 through 19, we find this. But those things which proceed from the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, and blasphemies. Have you ever truly thought about the condition of your heart spiritually? What prognosis or diagnosis would your spiritual doctor give you right now if he looked into your heart? For some of you, you can honestly say, I have a heart full of love and full of peace, while others may cringe once they begin to examine themselves. We can only fool others a short time before the true content of our hearts come out. And we cannot fool God at all because He sees straight into our hearts. Being born into sin does present hurdles for us as Christians, but God gave us His Spirit and His Spirit gives us strength. It gives us the strength we need to jump those hurdles. When we take our eyes off of Jesus and our feet somehow get caught in those hurdles, we fall. What causes us to take our eyes off of Jesus? Are we spending as much time with Him as we should? Have you ever wondered why it is that we speak nothing but negative words at times? I'm about 99% sure that if we would take a look at ourselves when we find ourselves speaking negative or acting in an unfriendly manner, that we would find we may not have been spending a whole lot of time with God or in His Word, whether or not it's a long period or a short period of time. If we're feeling energetic and peaceful and our joy is overflowing, even when tough circumstances creep up, we will probably find that we have been spending time with God and in His Word. What we need to do is understand this. When we spend time with God and in His Word, it penetrates our hearts and His attributes and His words begin to flow out of our mouth and show in our actions. This is true for whatever we spend our time in. If we never allow God to spend time in our hearts, then we will be filling our hearts up with things of this world. What do you think will show up in our words and actions if we do that? Ponder that for a couple of minutes. The point I'm trying to make is that we need to spend time each day talking to God, reading a couple of devotions, reading scriptures. We will see a difference in our speaking, in our actions, and in our daily lives, and others will notice too. Thank you for joining us today. If you like what you've seen, please hit the like and subscribe button, and also hit the bell button if you would like to receive notification of when new videos are uploaded. Also, feel free to leave a comment. We welcome those and love reading them. Have a blessed day and don't forget to encourage someone.